let's look into Hurricane Helene and how in the world it flooded out the mountains in North Carolina. There's all sorts of damage everywhere from this flooding, but you would think if you're in the mountains, you should be safe. Guess not. So let's see what we have here. I have an article. As Helene became a Category 1 hurricane in the Gulf of Mexico, more than 500 miles and 30 hours away for, from where it would eventually make landfall in Florida, Western North Carolina was already seeing rain. The climate office says that Helene's outskirts were feeding tropical moisture to slow-moving storms that had formed along a stalled cold front. By midnight, roughly after an hour after Helene's landfall 10 miles north of Steinhatchee, Florida, Asheville Airport in North Carolina had already seen more than four inches of rain. Um, by Thursday night, Yancey County, which sits just a South of Irwin, Tennessee, where floodwaters became so bad people were trapped on the roof of a hospital had seen more than nine inches. Um, so then they're talking about the biblical flooding devastation that's brought to these areas. And um, so everybody's flooded out. It's terrible. They can't get in to help. It's just, gosh, who knows how many people lost their lives. I just want to look into this because I can't shake the feeling that this is not a natural event and we've mentioned this before as we've looked into other weather events that they're not natural some of these things are just not natural but maybe this is once in a lifetime i guess all right let's look into of course i'll allege it for entertainment purposes only it's not facts i can download snarky opinions let's see what we can find out what is the deal with the flooding that happened up there in North Carolina and Tennessee and other areas. Well, obviously, Wheel of Fortune, everything got turned upside down in the past. The world. I don't like that. In the future, trying to retain balance. So seemingly on the surface, we're trying to say that, well, this is a once in a lifetime thing and uh, da da da. Now this I don't like because this is like, yeah, we're basically, there's a basic in the past <clears throat> idea that there will be complete destruction. This will be the end of this area. Overriding concern. Do not like to see the high priestess here. That's not natural. Yeah, the high priestess there, that's, <sighs> Secret knowledge going on behind the scenes. Great. Emotional undercurrent. Justice. Why justice? Why? 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 Why justice? That's weird. Fear. People might start to look into this and think, hmm, something's hinky here. Obsession. Keeping our secret secret. Keeping our secret secret. That's wonderful. Driving ambition, money, or materials, or gold, or I don't know, something. Materials. Okay, this is not natural. Not to harp on it. It's not natural. Main obstacle. Main obstacle is the hermit. These damn... Bible thumping people. Um, damn these people that know what we want to do. Damn these people who are staying in our way. This is not natural, my opinion. There's something there they want in the land that's going to make them rich. Money, money, money. Something in the land. I don't know. All right, let's see. Okay. How does this destruction, like is Hurricane Helene was the intent to go after, you know, North Carolina, Tennessee and that area, or was this something we're just gonna tag along to the Florida area storm? Like how does North Carolina surrounding states get involved 
roped into this? Is it just convenient cover perhaps? Let's see. Or maybe that was the intent the entire, I, yeah. Queen of Wands, always a part of the plan. That's neat. Page of Swords. That's sick. Okay, so <clears throat> Page of Swords saying, well, this should be fine. You guys should be fine up there everywhere else. You know, just if this is like your usual thing, like if you're in Florida, do your normal preparations. Um, if you're up there in North Carolina or whatever, you should be fine. No worries. You should be good. Like, I don't know how much I actually told anybody up there, but it would seem like a lot of people were unprepared. In the past, the hanged one. Yeah, it's already a plan. This is like this is planned for this area. Two for one deal. Two for one deal. So it's like we already have this hurricane over here. Let it just do whatever it's gonna do up there. Five of Wands. The Hermit. Look at that. Wheel of Fortune. Don't come back ever again. Don't come back ever again. So whoever wanted this, whoever wanted this, like, knew. It's almost like, we're, you want to battle people who live there? You want to battle? We'll battle you. We'll win. This is a, <clears throat> I don't know, I guess we're engineering weather as a new way to take over shit that doesn't belong to us. Okay. So... We're trying to take over shit that doesn't belong to us. What can we know about that? Feeling like this seems to be more common ground than it needs to be, ever. Like, yeah, let's, now oh, they won't give it to us the legal way. We can't have a legal battle. Well, let's do it by a brute force or let's destroy their home and land and properties and kill them all. That'll be great. All right, what was I asking? What, well, I wanted, okay, what are they seeking? What do they want? Something that's valuable. Valuable, 10 of Pentacles, or something very valuable. Something very valuable that they were perhaps going to be told to walk away from. Whatever is there, <clears throat> something very valuable that they could use to make something else, like here's our chemical knowledge and things. So something very valuable they could use to make something else. Um, they were looking at, there was plots all along of how to get into this area. Like, okay, well maybe we'll offer them a $5,000 bonus for this, or maybe we'll offer them this or that. And th there was all sorts of, shitty negotiating going on behind the scenes in the past. Then it's like, no, we need this because it's very valuable. We need it for our alchemical thingies. And they don't want us to have it. So we have a lot of options with the Seven of Cups. We have a lot of options at our disposal. Um, gaslighting hasn't seemed to work for any extended period of time. I feel like, I don't know, whatever they're trying to get at, are they telling people like, all sorts of shit like here with their uh crappy marketing and they're telling them all sorts of shit and they're like then maybe they get to the point they're like making threats and then the threats aren't working and all the people are just like f you get out of here and then well now we have we've reached the end of the road we now need to do this yeah queen of swords it's like i don't know if there was some type of legal thing on the books or the docket legal <clears throat> or lots of water surprise here comes a uh, surprise storm with a lot of water <sighs> these people <clears throat> do they have copper do they have gold do they have <clears throat> i don't know something there they want 
All right, now, now what is done is done. They've flooded the area, they've killed people, and everything is terrible. So, what's the future for the people that live there? Let's start that, because people care, are worth more than these, I don't know, gold diggers. These people just forced out, and this is it. Or can they come back? Do they get help? Eight of Wands, something coming in quick. Judgment. In the past, in the past they would have left. Okay. Oh, shit. I'm pleasantly surprised to see the Devil card this time because this is like judgment's coming in quick and we're fingering the devil pointing the finger at the devil <clears throat> saying dude it's you it's you eyes wide shut it's you you devils trying to get in here to get to whatever this is these riches you want in the land future three of swords heartbreak four of pentacles then magician now that's not good Let's continue on because that doesn't, yeah, people are leaving external influence saying this is how it is. There's a battle, making decisions. Okay. It's still kind of shitty. So there's this idea like currently like people are looking at them and be like, listen here, these a-holes playing around, you know, doing some harpy type of shit. We don't like it. Moving forward, though, you have the heartbreak, the four of swords, people trying to hold on to what they have. Um, but there's a lot of smoke and mirrors where this tells me at some point they're going to be like, oh, no, that's a toxic area. You can't go back to it. No, we can't rebuild over there. That's just demolished forever. Sorry. Da, 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 da. So, you know, people are going to have this burden, that, you know, just like I have to walk away from my land, my property, my heritage, you know, families live there for generations. I got to leave. Um, and we have external influence here with uh, the emperor saying, yeah, you're just going to have to make an agreement with us. This feels like government that, uh, this land's going to be going back into the federal land, whatever. Um, the fears is that we're going to take this to battle. The people still wouldn't win. Um, there's looking to me making some type of money settlement here to see if the people will take the settlement. At the end of the day, um, at some point, I don't know that it's tomorrow or, you know, 20 years from now, at some point, whatever's there in the land, <clears throat> they're going to be able to get it. They will be able to, the assholes that started this will eventually be able to get it. Let's see what the settlement is, though. <clears throat> A settlement for these people, because that's... That's fucked up. Catastrophic devastation didn't accurately describe the impact the deluge had. <sighs> Seven of Swords, not very good. Like, here you go, you got some type of settlement money, but it's not for, not even close to what is in the land. There's the money. Yeah, this is like not even close, Nine of Swords, and not even close to what's in the land. There's um, ideas hoping people don't find out about it. Here's a creative solution, though. New settlement, king. Someone comes in and does want to try and say i know you were dis displaced robbed of your land but i know you were displaced and i want to make an offer here for you so maybe you can i know you can't go back to your land but here's some other land um you know there's a new idea that you can start over here and i know you would like to go back to your home but you can't but there's an idea that someone wants to hear help and make some other type of offer. So I don't know if this is like a making offer of other federal lands that can now be for you, perhaps. Hopes. 
hopes that people will think about it. It's like a mediation. It's like dealing, doing a deal with the devil and you don't win, right? Or doing a deal with the casino, the house always wins. External influence. There's like, you, somehow you have to make this right. You can't just say, sorry, done with the land to the people that had it. Okay, looking into the future, there's some type of still like legal shit going on. The challenge is demons want what demons want. They still want this. So that the people who have been displaced by this at the end of all the day, at the end for all intents and purposes, like you'll never get the riches or even a fraction of the money of whatever's on this land. That's never coming to you. Um, that looks like in the future at some point there is an idea to make some type of thing right here. Like perhaps saying like, we'll give you some land over here. <sighs> Let's see how the demons are feeling right now. Good old demons. How are they feeling about their handiwork? the world it's we got the job done oh let, let's get ready we're going to start lining our coffers with money in the past yeah our secret plans went through got them done this land is now our land our four of wands this is going to be our home base for whatever the fuck it is we're getting ready to start making shit and making money yeah we're going to own this land and uh we're gonna there's some bullshit idea behind we're going to make it seem like uh, it's good. You know, we're taking over the land and we're getting whatever we want out of the land, but we're doing it in a ecological, climate-friendly bullshit way. Hopes. Yeah, they're just, this is going to be whatever they're getting out of the land, this is going to be giving it to them for a long time. External influence, money, money, money for years, legacy generations to come. The fears, people will know about the secrets, about how they were doing to get here. Internal influence, well, we got the legal shit with the king of swords here, so don't worry about it. Any challenge for the demons? More bad news could come in and reveal who these a-holes really are, but essentially they got away with it. That's terrible. All right, so let's see, what is the advice then for the people who got screwed or lost their life, even worse than getting screwed? What is the advice for people? What's the advice who are affected by this biblical devastation? Uh, lawyer up there's some idea here that there is somebody willing to take on the cause so um, what we're getting here is like currently there's a lot of fear and worry and anxiety that you've lost everything it's terrible you're being guided to hold strong hold strong in your strength and you're also being encouraged to then seek out legal remedies to see if you can actually get a beneficial deal. It feels like there's somebody like, I don't know, a lawyer type or a class action lawsuit type or whatever the hell, I assume that'd still be a lawyer, some type of legal help that wants to help you get at least some something out of this. Um, yeah, it's like there's a like this would be a politician. This is a lawyer. There's like these people are ready to step in to help you. Um, like there's more resources here, like, I don't know, pro bono or somebody who has the you guys share the same enemy to go after these people. That's what I'm getting here. But whatever it is, spirits encouraging people who are affected by this to go after them get get as much as you can of what's yours like i don't feel like it'll ever compensate but 
if you could get something out of them that gives them some little bit of pain, then do it. Okay, with that, gosh, that's terrible. Say a prayer for everybody over there. And until next time, adios.